This spell is for Audie August, someone I have reason to believe is a bunny with eyes so suggestive they were banned in Boston. The word is Elmosis. It is spelled E L M O S I S. As best I can tell, Elmosis is the process by which children come to be aware of Elmo, even if they've never been exposed to Sesame Street. It's either that or complete nonsense. And Elmo, Elmo is for Juice Enoch Barrett and child. Spell it with me now. E L M O. Elmo. Originally, Sesame Street's audience surrogate was a well-meaning and gentle big bird, a well-adjusted nine or ten foot tall nine or ten year old. But now, it's Elmo, who's three or four. I have a three or four year old. And sure, they are monsters. Selfish, sadistic monsters. Egotistical megalomaniacs making impossible demands. Bring the house on the plane. Unmelt the ice cream. Mine, mine, mine. Is this the kind of Muppet we want seeping into our children? La 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 la, la 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 la. It's Elmo's world? You know, when Hitler said it was his world, people got very upset. And rightly so. So why are we letting this red bastard declare himself owner of us all? Because let me tell you this much: if Earth belongs to any bug-eyed furry monster, you know it's Gritty, who does not officially endorse this message, though you know he does. And despite this obvious Photoshop, Elmo is the anti-Gritty, which makes it feel so right when folks online opt not to name the dark one. And instead, call Elon Musk Elno or Elmo, the world's best-known toddler tyrant, here to wreck it all, just like he did to Sesame Street. Give me your words.